is the Celebrity Afterlife Report podcast. Hello, dear friends. It is me. It is I. It is this guy. The Celebrity Medium, here with another edition of the Celebrity Afterlife Report, the only show on the internet that gives you the -the up-to-the-minute gossip about all your favorite deceased celebrities, and and also kind of some showbiz stuff, and even some fringy showbiz stuff, as you're about to hear in our lead story today. This This is a little bit different for this show, but hang on, it's going to be good. I promise you... All right, you've almost certainly heard of the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Uh, It belongs, obviously, to the Mormon Church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, based in Salt Lake City, Utah. Now, on the earthly plane, the choir has 360 members. It was formed in 1847. Now, that obviously means that a lot of former members of the choir have transitioned to the next world, right? Okay. So here's what's happening with this. Someone, and I don't know who this was, someone in the next world has had the bright idea to form a Mormon Tabernacle Choir supergroup, which will be composed of as many members of the choir from the earthly plane as they can track down. And anyone who's ever been in the choir is invited to join this new supergroup. It's expected that there will be thousands of members when they finally get the thing all assembled. And the plan is for them to tour major arenas and outdoor venues all around the next world. Now, here's the thing. Well, one of, one of the things, they're not going to be doing liturgical music. In other words, you're not going to get, uh, you know, Handel's Messiah or any of that stuff. They're going to be doing pop songs, contemporary pop songs, both from the earthly plane and also from the next world. So that's a little bit interesting. But this story may not seem so amazing to you unless you actually know a little something about the Mormon church. The Mormon belief is that when a Mormon transitions from the earthly plane, they get their own planet to live on with their family members. That is a core belief of the Mormon church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Apparently, according to my paparazzi sources that is not the case when a mormon transitions they simply go to the afterlife just like everyone else hence the ability to round them up to be in this choir so i guess i'm kind of breaking something big here and i'm sorry if any mormons listening to this show are upset by this information or think that i'm blaspheming or something like that but this is the information as it has been given to me by my sources who are generally pretty on the money, and I really don't think they'd be wrong about something as big as this. There are Mormons there, and they are looking to find past members of the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. So, I can only tell you what I've been told. Apparently, they do not get their own planet. They are simply in the the general population, the gen pop, as they say in the prison system. They're in the gen pop of the afterlife. And a whole lot of them are going to end up in a super choir at some point in the future. Well, I don't think I can top that, I mean, for blockbuster status, but we've got some other stuff for you, too. Fred Trump and Charles Lindbergh are back at it again. Fred Trump, of course, is the father of uh, the 45th president of the United States. Donald Trump... Uh, A few weeks back, they ended their pro-Trump rallies that they were having all over the uh, next world after there were a lot of protests outside the rallies and someone released a giant pack of stray dogs into the, the stadium where they were holding their rally, which just caused some chaos. No one was injured, but it was just a lot of chaos, and I guess they took the hint that maybe it was time to wrap up the rally. So a person, such as myself, or probably you, would conclude that they were done with promoting President Trump, which has never made any sense to me because they can't influence anything on the earthly plane. But no, they're not done. They're taking their act to afterlife television. 
In fact, at least one show has already aired, and according to my sources, it looks a whole lot like a televangelist program, but it's not religious. It just has that kind of a style, you know, where they're, they're talking like this and addressing the audience. It's all pro-Donald Trump. Like I said, I don't get the point. They can't do anything about what's going on in the earthly plane, but apparently Fred Trump, who was arrested at a Ku Klux Klan rally in New York City in the 1920s, and Charles Lindbergh, who, yes, was the first man to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean, but was also an outspoken supporter of Hitler, apparently they're just real fixated on getting people on board the Trump train, no matter what it takes, no matter how they can get their word out. Comedian Ralphie May arrived in the next world about a week ago. We talked about this on last week's show. Uh, by all accounts, a really good guy. Just a, re- a minch, as they say in Yiddish. And I just received word that he has been signed to star in an upcoming sitcom tentatively titled, What's the Problem with Ralphie? And I guess it's like a domestic sitcom, you know, one of those with the, the you know, the overweight dad and husband who kind of gets himself into wacky predicaments. I don't know that, but that's what it sounds like to me. It's going to revolve around Ralphie playing an exaggerated version of himself, his problems with obesity, and his family and friends. Here's where it gets interesting. The producers reportedly are searching for a look-alike of fellow comedian Dat Fan to play a part on the show either as one of Ralphie's friends or a family member of his. Now, Dat Fan, as I was telling you last week, is a Vietnamese-American comedian who beat Ralphie on the first season of Last Comic Standing. Dat Fan came in first, Ralphie May came in second, and because Dat Fan won, his prize was supposed to be getting his own sitcom, which never materialized for some reason and that fan kind of fell off the comedy radar he really hasn't been heard from by the public since i don't know i assume he's still in comedy but you know i don't you never hear anything about the guy but anyway for whatever reason they're looking for someone who looks like him or is at least asian you know english speaking asian for i don't know why are they just doing that for the irony for the benefit of anybody who knows that dad fan beat ralphie on let's comic standing i don't know or they just think it's an interesting twist to throw an asian into the the cast don't know that's the deal they're supposedly looking looking for a look-alike of dad fan god only knows just like on earthly television things can change between now and when the show finally airs we just have to wait and see how it turns out Beloved rock star Tom Petty, who, as you most certainly know, recently transitioned to the afterlife. Uh, Last week, as I told you, he announced he would be holding auditions for musicians to join the new band he's forming. The band is going to be called the Earth Shakers, so named because Tom says he wants the band to rock so hard it will shake the earthly plane. Okay, kind of cute, kind of cute. Well, rumor now has it that Tom has found a drummer and a bass player, although that is not confirmed by Tom Petty as of yet, and as of the last time I spoke to my sources, which was earlier today, no names have been mentioned, so we don't know if this is the case, and if it is the case, we don't know who the drummer and bass player are yet, but we'll find out. He promised he would do a show for the people who came to his welcoming ceremony and left because it was he was mistakenly um, it was mistakenly announced that he was on his way to the um, afterlife uh, as you know before it happened and then so people left the welcoming area and then some of them didn't come back when he actually arrived so he felt bad about that he said he will have a concert for them uh, when he's able to put a band together and probably end up going on tour I'm going to guess and maybe recording That is all to be determined for now, however. Okay, that's what I have for you at the moment. I always get new stuff. There's always stuff happening in the afterlife. It gets trickled down to me eventually, and then I tell it to you. 
Please come back next week when we'll have more up-to-the-moment gossip about all your favorite disease celebs. In the meantime, the show can be found on iTunes, in the Google Play Store, on YouTube, and on uh, AM 1630 K-Rock. No, K-Rock, you moron. K-Chung Radio. In the City of Angels, Los Angeles. Sheesh. Where it is aired at 1 p.m. on Monday afternoons. Gosh, I'm such a dummy sometimes. Anyway, that's where you can find it. You'll find me back here next week. I'm going to lock up the studio and go take a long nap, I think. Get over my mental fog. (laughs) I'm the Celebrity Medium. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to the Celebrity Afterlife Report podcast. To ask a question about your favorite deceased celebrity, call 818-3-MY-DREAM. 818-3-MY-DREAM. 818-369-3732.